Hello everyone. Today we're going to make uh, one of these viral lenses that seems to have caught on. Um, it's where you have a bunch of photos flash above the user's head and then they do something like raise their eyebrows and the photo stops. And um, my idea for it is like celebrity crush. Who's your celebrity crush? And so when they raise their eyebrows, the image stops and then bam, full screen image or something like that. I haven't done this before, but I do have a good idea of how to do it. So let's get into this. Now, I know I might be a little bit late to the bandwagon, but uh, nonetheless, I'll get started. And I've already opened up a, a brand new project here. And I opened up my browser to get celebrity photos. And actually, it's a lot of the same people. It's kind of a bummer, but uh, I'll go through and I'll get, I don't know, maybe... 20 to 50 photos. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how this goes. And I also got to think about lens size. If I'm putting all these photos in there, maybe I have to run them through a compressor. But good thing I know Python. And I have already built, I think, an image compressor. So I will uh, start doing this. And this is the boring, the boring part. Right on. So I've got um, 21 celebrity photos um just random stupid photos i don't even know who most of these people are so i think part of this lens i will have to label them and tell you who they are uh if you land on them just because some people will have no idea like me like is that selena gomez or is that someone else and i don't know who that is at all we all know who that is um, J Lo, no idea. I think that's Rihanna. Anyway, we'll go from here. So I think my first step will be to, um, add a head binding because that's what we're going to attach that image to. It's going to be part of your forehead. Let's go to the scene. So now that we have the head binding, we'll, uh, Add an image, an image object that we attach to the head. So now it's a part of the head. I'm just trying to play with the image settings to get it at the perfect height on the forehead. Nothing interesting, unless you want to hear me talk to myself. But uh, I sped this part up just so you wouldn't have to listen to it all. Come on, Ariana. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we zeroed out the local uh, position. So, with that, oh, it still looks off. I don't, I don't know. Something's weird about it. Um, like, shouldn't it be covering this guy's eyes? I don't know. But that's fine for now. I do know I'm gonna need a script. And I can call this, um, let's call it image controller. That's embarrassing. Okay, so now we got a picture of Ariana above the head, attached to the head. What else? So in our script, we're going to need to do some magic. Let's take the image object. Actually, we'll attach this to the image object. So um, we'll just drag it onto the image object. So then when we get the scene object, we can get the image component. Perfect. And we're going to need access to these resources here. How do we do that? Let's see. Can we take an array of images? That's what we'll do. Okay. Um, string array? No. What is an image? Let's see what an image is. Pull up the API. We need to go to image object. Is it an image? It's an image, right? Okay. If it's an image, that's perfect. Is it an image? 
is an asset. It's an asset. Right? What am I looking for? Okay, components. In the components, we're going to go to image. Right? And then what is the... To material. Okay, let me try asset. Hmm. Component dot image? No, texture. I need like texture. Asset dot texture array images. So now if I go to my script, <laughs> I should be able to drag. Ah, there we go. Okay, perfect. So now I can just drag my images on to the script. Uh, what have I done? Okay, I need to add a bunch. Perfect. Okay. So I've got all my images in the array. And now I can loop through them. Let's see. Oh, what? Why are there two images? On the... Hold up. Oh, what have I done? Did I do so? Oh, okay. I have two images on this. Two image components. So I can just delete one. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, for my sake, I just need one image component. Um, so then I set the texture. Actually, I'll need to figure out that. All right. We'll start with the events. If images and images dot length oh shoot script dot images and script dot images dot length is greater than zero, then we'll do something on the update. Ah oh, crap, stop it. <laughs> um I guess we'll start with var next image change time is equal to no i'll just set that and then next image change time is equal to get time plus 0 0.5 we'll try that um actually we do that in the on turn on We'll set our image component in the init. That way we don't have to do that big long get every single time. And then we'll actually set image dot texture uh, set. Set, 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 set. Image. Mm, source. Hmm. We'll do a clear materials. Let me look at the API really quick.
component.image. So is there an example down here? Um, ah, there we go. Okay, image.mainpass.base text. Um, perfect. Script image. So I need the image main pass base text. Let's um, set this to script.images at image index. Right? I think that should work. I'm getting an error. Function. What's a function? Okay, I don't get an error on save. Um, and then here we'll say plus plus actually hold on I need to loop it so if plus plus image oops image index is greater than or equal to image script dot images ah look what I'm doing again length yeah I got script okay um, then we'll say image index is equal to zero so at least we have that. And then we will just copy. Actually, we'll create a new function. Set image. And we'll pass the um, index. And then we can just take this, put it in here, and then call set image at image index. Why would I even pass that? because it's a global variable and then set image so in our if statement I don't know if you're familiar with programming it or at all but uh, we're increasing the count of the image index before we compare and then we're saying if the next one is going to be past the length then set it back to zero so we're looping um, and all the while we're setting the image index so then we can just call set image and that's a method you idiot do to do, do look at that I can't believe it's actually working as well as it is let's set the uh, oh haha <laughs> I didn't set the cheese uh, maybe I take this and put it in the there we go so I can set this to like point two um, point one even yeah that's better so every time we call it we increase the uh, count. Um, yeah, I guess now we need to add the stop functionality when they raise their eyebrows or something. It's not bad. It works. It works. Okay, let's uh, quickly add the function stop images. Var running equals true. And uh, we'll just make sure we set running. It's true here. Oops. And then we will also add a uh, oh, no.
Okay. Um, and then we just add and running. So it is running. We just say running equals false. Um, when you raise your eyebrows and then stop, we'll just say running is equal to false as well. Perfect. We can, <laughs> let's just, uh, why would we need two functions? I don't know. I don't think we do. Okay. So it's running and then we can get someone to raise their eyebrows here. We'll get the same guy. Hey, look at that. Found his celebrity lookalike. Then if we reset the lens, oh. Look at that. I think that's Jennifer Garner or something like that. I might be too good at this. But uh, yeah, there's that part. And you know what? We can go a bit further and put a label there and say who it is. Um, how would I do that? What if I... Names? If I took names... Who's he gonna be now? Weird guy. If names script.names dot length and uh, script script dot images and script oh boy names dot length is equal to script dot images dot length oops um, and we'll do this. Oh boy. And then we'll put a nasty else. Print. You must name the celebrities does that work does that do anything I don't think that does anything what I thought that would print something maybe print hmm did I do something wrong It's been printing the whole time. Why am I? I didn't see that. My bad. You must name the celebrities. Okay. So at this point, we need 20. And here we go again with the damn clicking. Nope. Nope. No. God. No, nope. yeah, okay, 20. Um, I actually don't know what, who they are. Um, who are they? Bob. Randy. Jen. Aaron. Chris. Patty. Susan. Gen 2. Uh, what's his name? Uh, 
Oh, I don't know. Uh, John, Jake, Andy, uh, Rob, uh, Will, uh, Justin, Amanda, Liz, Chelsea, Oh, three more. Uh, wow, J Lo. I, I don't know. Um, Rihanna and hmm, Spencer. Okay. No, that shouldn't bring me. Uh, why? Why save ads? What's going on here? I thought I saved this project. That's not good. Whatever. Um, hmm. Now we need a text. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Can we add? We can add a text component here. We'll just like, we'll corrupt this entire um, Perfect. So I can see that. Can I move it down? Ah, God. No. Hold on. Maybe. Okay. I remove this. And then I add a component to this. I add a text object to my image. That way I can move it down. Negative five. Oh, where did you go? Negative one. Okay, negative one. You are massive. I'm gonna bring you down to twenty-eight. Eighteen. Mm, Oof. Fifteen. Wow, that is big. Uh, okay. Negative point five. Negative point. Six. Oh, hate when I can't find the right value. Point eight. I'm oh, fine. Okay, negative point eight. And now we'll set. We'll get the uh, label, and then in the script we're gonna set the label is equal to script. Dot get scene object. Dot get child. At zero. Dot get component. And it's going to be text. So now I have this text object and I can set the text to, let's see, when we set the image, no, when we stop the image, we'll say, okay, first of all, I need to wipe this text. Let's just go label.text is equal to nothing. Um, and then when we stop it, oh, but yeah, we, okay, running false and then, uh, label dot text is equal to script dot names at image index Randy Randy again is that a fluke Randy again okay JLo Hey, oh my God, it was actually Jay. Wow, what are the, ch <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> okay, okay. But I don't like the text. What is going on with our text here? Okay, what if we put it to zero? No, not on top. Oh God, this is getting out of hand. Negative 0.5, that's fine. This text size is killing me. It can't be 15 pixels or whatever it is. Come on. Um, actually, you know what we can do? Make it a bit more interesting. We'll get the, okay, not classes, global properties. We can get the user context, script.user context dot 
request display name. That's what we'll do. We'll request the user's name that's using our lens. Um, yeah, var username, and then in the init script dot get user context. Oh, context. Okay, hold on. No, it's global properties. Get user con. Hmm. How do I call that? Global dot, that's right, global dot user context system dot request user huh? display name. And then I have to provide a callback. Um, can I do an inline function name and then Username is equal to name. Does that work? Let's see. When we stop it, username plus, oops, is. Wow. Okay. So it works. I requested the username and I said it. Um, okay. So. The text is still way too big. Come on. There's no way. Snap user is Chris. It's eight. Eight pixels. Five. Okay. I think five, but my God, that just doesn't seem right. Um, snap user is Chelsea. Okay. That's a nice color. I do like that. Um, it's going to have a margin on the left and right of, let's say, 0.5. Oof. Whoa, point, point 0.1? Oh my God, that's crazy, 0.05. Okay, 0.05, 0.05. Oh, okay, at least, perfect. So it, it kind of looks like a label now. Um, that's, that's nice, I do like that. Um, obviously I'm not going to release it like this because I don't know where the images came from and um, I don't know the celebrities actual names, but I will just leave it like this and uh, I'll put this on GitHub for everybody with the images as well, I believe. I'll put it somewhere. I'll link it in the description and please try and subscribe and like the video and, and uh, comment what you want to see. Also, I do have uh, Skillshare. I'm teaching on Skillshare and I do teach Snapchat stuff as well. So if you want to learn the scripting, I've got a full course on how to script in Snapchat. So yeah, I'll link my Skillshare as well. So thank you for watching and enjoy.